Okay, this is actually really terrifying. There's massive gaps. Welcome back to the channel. We're Dan and Stephen, and we live, travel, and work full time in our little VW T4 Swift camper van. We've given up our lives of old for a chance to experience an entirely new way of living, learning as we go and facing the challenges that come our way. After our recent accident in Spain, we found ourselves with time on our hands in Granada, and this week we leave the city to take on an adventure hike through gorges and high rope bridges that's one to remember. So sit back, relax, and uh, come along, dear. In last week's video we finally booked our van in for repairs in Granada after our accident, but as this was a week away we spent a good few days staying on our little campsite just outside the city, which despite the reasons behind it, was actually really nice getting to stay still for a while. So we've actually got a garden again. <laughs> we, can, we can put our washing out on the line. That's been a while, hasn't it? No, it's quite handy because there's a washing machine on the site and they don't have a, a what's the word? Tumble, Tumble dryer, but you don't need one because it's warm, it's sunny and you've got little lines, which is great. So this feels nice to actually dry our clothes properly for once. So one thing that's actually been quite good about this uh, about being stranded here, <laughs> if you can say any of it's good, is the fact that actually um, it's given us a rare chance to sit still for a while and just enjoy that because always when you're in a in a van, a camper van, a motorhome, whatever it is, if you're in it full time basically, you're just moving and moving and moving and you rarely get a chance to sit, sit still for more than 24 or 48 hours. So this has been kind of lovely. Um, it's not been a choice, but we've kind of realised how nice it's been. Now we do have to pay for this site, but at 12 euros a night, that's not too bad at all. Um, you could pay a lot worse. Um, and, you know, as we know, most places that are free where you uh, wild camp or use the airs or whatever, um, you, you can't really stay for too long anyway, or you're not supposed to. So here it's quite nice to just relax, take your feet off the gas, quite literally, um, and just enjoy slowing down. Like we had the chairs out and I could sit and read yesterday. We had a little drink and it was just just really nice. <laughs> As you will have been well aware, um, we've been rather disjointed the last few days. Today, however, and I need to wake up, we're gonna do something fun. So we're gonna actually get out. Um, we're gonna stay in this little site we've been on for a few days and we're gonna go on a little hike. Now, this was a hike that I wanted to do a while back and I told Stephen about it and you know he was up for it as well, um, but we just never got around to it. Funnily enough, where we had the accident was close to it. Um, so what we're going to do, now we're in Granada, we're going to get the tram in, get a bus to the little town of Monocule, I think it's about 20 minutes outside, and we're going to do the hike we wanted to do, which is, is called the Los, Los Cajoras hike, I think. I'll write it there. Um, it's meant to be a really well-known hike, really fun, not too challenging, uh, but just really kind of adventurous and everybody keeps referring to it as like the Indiana Jones style hike so it looks super fun there's bridges and like little bits where you walk around the side of the rivers and canyons so should be good and then there's just a little bit of a trek to get back um, so we're looking forward to that I think even Steve's up for it which is always a winner uh, <laughs> So it's a warm day, we'll get sun creamed up I think, we've got our supplies, we've got our lunch wraps already made, we've all, all been good little schoolboys today and we're going to head off and have a little adventure day and I think it'll be just what we need to be honest. And that's it, coffee time and wake up because I look rough. <laughs> Ready, Eddie. <laughs> Where are we off to? We're going to Mock Hill. Uh, Mon well, I Monocle. think the village is called Monokil or something like that, but the, the hike is called Los Cajoras, and um, I think yeah, that's how you say it. And we've heard a lot about it, and it's meant to be super fun. Um, not too long either. 
which is good because it is absolutely blistering already. Um, but yeah, I think there's lots of like fun little obstacles to begin with and then you just go on a little hill hike to get back to the village. Off we go. Right. right, where are we going? I want to eat a wrap first. Yeah, me too. Well, look at this, like we're on a little school trip, isn't it? Mm. Got our little wraps, Steve made yesterday. So just to point out, uh, just to point out there is actually a park up here, and I'll show you in a second, where you can actually stay to do the hike, so it's in the village. Um, so, you know, we didn't do that, partly because of what happened. Yeah, <laughs> and we're happy it ended up that way. Well, we're not happy it happened, but we're happy we ended up where we did because we can safely leave the van, get a bus in and do it that way. However, it seems like there's a lot of vans staying here, so it's probably okay. And it's an easy starting point for the hike, so really nice. It's already horrific, <laughs> already it's like a massive steep hill, however we read that doing this hike you can do it two ways, it's a circular route so one way or the other and everything we kept reading was that if you start off going down into the gorge where all the fun bits are you kind of miss out like that's over with in seconds and then you've got a long walk that's not as interesting on the way back for the majority so everything you read was saying do it the opposite way around so that's what we're doing uh, which feels currently to our detriment but I'm sure it'll be worth it right <laughs> you'll be fine we'll be fine so yeah bit of a hilly trek to start with but it means all the good stuff saved to the end so fingers crossed we've done it right because I'm not 100% sure um, I looked at all trails looked at several things on the internet and it seems to suggest doing this way is better but we shall see Not gonna lie, this is pretty hard going doing it the reverse way round. Um, and I certainly see what people have said about why it's better because you save all that good stuff till the end. But there is a long upward trek. We thought it was over, but it wasn't, so it does go on and on. I think we're basically at the top now and it peters out. Um, but in this Spanish heat, it's not easy. And had I known it would have been like this, I probably wouldn't have suggested it to Stephen. It's not ideal, um, but we're getting there. You know, once it's up the top, once we're at the top, it should get easier and easier. The other option was to walk all the way along the gorge and just come back along the gorge, which is a bit anticlimactic, or to do the gorge first and then come and do this. But presumably, you'd still have to go uphill to get here. So it's a bit of a puzzle at the moment. I'm assuming we start going downhill soon, but we shall see. You can do it, Steve. I don't want to speak too soon because <sighs> you never know with these things and Stephen's hating this part so I really don't want to say it out loud but I think we've peaked. I think we're at the highest. It's about 1150 meters and we started from a pretty low point.
So we've reached the bridge. Yeah. The first, no, we've reached the gorge, the canyon. And we've reached our first little bridge. Do you think it's better coming this way? Yeah, definitely. If I'd have got, the, if I'd have come to here and then seen where was for us to go, I wouldn't have done it. So yeah. it's better to go the other way, even though it's you know, it's the incline and it goes on forever. Or like walk along and go back, and then you avoid all of it, I guess. But that means repeating yourself. Exhilarating and terrifying at the same time. Yes. I'm not sure I would say this is family friendly, would you? No. I mean, you know, not to be all sort of like put the rules out or anything, but I read about it being quite family friendly, but this this is quite dodgy, even though that's not very high, you, there's a big there's a drop and it's either onto the, into water or onto rocks. And you know, there's some really thin edges, it's really awkward. So yeah, just bear that in mind if you do come here. Anyway, on as we go. show you what we're walking on. I'm shaking the bridge to see if I can terrify Daniel. No, it's not working. Still alive. Okay, this is actually really terrifying. There's massive gaps. I was not expecting these massive gaps in this suspension bridge. Um, you can't fall through them or anything, but could easily lose your foot in and yeah, I don't want to think about it. 
There are about five or six rope bridges in the walk, and the final part, or the start depending on the order you choose, was a path that followed the river back to the village. Full of mini waterfalls and lush greenery, it felt like the perfect shaded end to an exhilarating hike, and is why we definitely recommend following the path in reverse order, a suggestion we read in many blogs online and the app All Trails. Of course, if you want to cut out the hills altogether, you can head straight into the gorge and turn back at the end, so this really is one that everyone can enjoy. I can't tell you how refreshing it is to see water as well. Um, all through our time in Spain, all you see is so many dried up rivers and rivers that are just running really on a thin line, you know? Um, and up here, it's just lovely. There's water everywhere. I know we're up sort of near the mountains, but uh, it's a relief, you know? Like a reminder, it still exists. And you know, Spain is, is so arid and quite stark with its scenery sometimes you know very very dry and not 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 barren there's lots of stuff about but it's it's so kind of otherworldly like and you know dusty um even in some of the more green places where you've got the olive trees it's still got that dry feeling but here suddenly in this valley of ice cold meltwater or whatever it is it's absolutely beautiful and it's like teeming with greenery in life i love it I'm just waiting for Steve to finish his paddock now. We're just on our walk back to the village now. We've got a bus to catch, so no pressure because it, they run every hour. There's a few little bars there. I think we're going to do that. Go and sit in the shade and cool off and just reflect. Because tomorrow we're on a, on a mission to move again. Uh, party town we're off to party town we're off to not Malaga we're off to Torremolinos I think or Malaga we're not 100% sure yet but I think Torremolinos and yeah because it's my birthday and, and then we're back here Monday we're back here to do repairs Monday but and then we're going to Gibraltar and then we're going to Gibraltar and then it's Portugal but now we're going too far ahead and we are back in the little village so that was a good round trip I mean, if ever a walk encompassed everything, that was it. Absolutely everything. You've got uphill treks, mountain views, views over the village and the valley, um, walking through Spanish countryside with the olive trees. Then you come into a massive gorge. Then you've got the suspension bridges. Um, then you've got those tight kind of, what do you even call them? Passageways you've got to go through, crawl through, or hold on for dear life. Um, and then it comes back along a river and it's absolutely beautiful so and it felt like we were in England exhausting and that first bit was not too nice but it was so worth it in the end and the way round we did it meant we got to enjoy the best of it um, yeah but we're knackered now absolutely sunburn and we're back in the village so we're gonna wait for a bus and we're gonna pop in the little bar and grab a beer because we we've bloody earned it yeah <laughs> and we had a really good time with it in the end Definitely a memorable one.